Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry here over at Wealth Dynamics. Hope you're having a fantastic night. And I wanted to come at you live really quick today and talk about production. Okay, so tonight we're gonna be doing our wealth creation course and I wanna give you a real quick live stream on what the course is gonna be about. Um, it starts in 90 minutes, uh, 7 p.m. Alaska time, 10 p.m. Central time, I think it's 11 p.m. Eastern time. But we're talking about how production actually improves morale. Okay, and so what I mean by that is when somebody's down, when they're uh, not motivated, maybe they're feeling sluggish, 100% of the time, it's because they're not, they're not producing. Okay, in my life and my business, when I first started, I was doing a lot of organizing. So I was doing a lot of you know organizing and building systems and making cool processes. And so I would go through these ups and downs, right? I would go through, you know, things were going well, I'd be excited. Then I'd be down in like doubt, wondering if it was gonna work, wondering how it was gonna happen. And what I realized was the reason I was going through that is because I wasn't producing. Okay, now producing doesn't just mean monetarily. So that old adage that money doesn't make you happy is actually true. Production makes you happy. When you produce, you feel good. When you feel good, it will produce money, but you start with production. And so if you're trying to increase your mood, if you're trying to improve performance, if you're trying to feel better, uh, maybe improve your attitude, uh, and maybe increase morale, find something to do and then do it. Now I wanna give you a couple pointers. When you do this, it doesn't really matter what it is, just do something and do it all the way through to the end. See, most people, they, they struggle because they don't actually finish. So they'll start something and then they'll leave it unfinished. Then they'll start another thing and then they'll leave it unfinished. And so what that turns into is just a bunch of unfinished cycles of action. So when you tell yourself like, hey, I'm about to do this, you don't even get excited anymore because you're like, man, that's no different than the last one. Like it's gonna be the same thing, I'm gonna start it, not get it done, and, and you lose motivation and excitement even about starting things because you have so many things left unfinished. So like trick number one, finish 100% of the time. Always finish what you start, okay? Now the next trick on this production thing is slot, like, like start it with something like doable and slowly increase the gradient, okay? Like if you start, for me it was like, I'm always gonna have an appointment. So I started with that. I was like, man, I'm always gonna have an appointment no matter what, and I did that. So I made sure I had an appointment every time, okay? And then when I, when I got that down, I was then like, okay, I'm gonna go on the appointment, but I'm gonna make sure that they know now that I'm there to do business. So that was the increase in gradient. I went from just having an appointment that usually would result in nothing to then having an appointment that, that the person knew I wanted to do business with them. So that was an improvement and I would continue to push that. I went from then like telling them I wanted to do business to then going through a demo. So I went, I went on an appointment, always told them I wanted to do business, always did a demo, always made sure they knew my price, my product, the features, advantages, and benefits. And then I took the next step to improve that again, which was always give them a contract. Then it went to always close. Then it went to start increasing my income because I was making money, right? But the problem is, is that we don't do the gradient thing. You're like, man, I need to produce and you grab the biggest thing you can think of, you start it and don't finish it. So start it, finish it, make sure you keep it at a gradient where you're always making those increases over time. And then the last thing is, is you gotta make sure you block out the naysayers. Okay, when you start producing, this happens to me all the time, you're gonna have people in your life that are like, man, you work too hard, you're doing too much, stop and smell the roses, life's not all about this, life's not all about that, that's not everything, this isn't everything. Like you just need to realize that that's them talking to you not because they're criticizing you and you're doing something wrong, but because they know they've quit on those same things. That's the only reason they're giving you that language. They've quit on the things that you're doing. So because they've quit, they've gotta make you wrong so that they don't have to realize they're wrong, okay? So the reason I wanna talk about this is A, that's what we're covering with our course tonight, but B, this pertains to your wealth. In order to live a life of abundance and prosperity in all areas of life, it does mean you need to produce in all areas of life. And when you do that, you'll see wealth. So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We do have our course starting tonight at 7 p.m. Make sure you tune in. It's gonna be on the Wealth Dynamics page, live streaming. If you wanna to come to the office and check it out too, that's gonna to be 500 West 6th Avenue, Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, again, that starts in about 90 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.